It's not really fun for anyone that, you know, this is happening. It's it's just life. Sometimes these things happen. We don't we don't want to leave, <laughs> basically. But uh, yeah. I'm so thankful to everyone that has come up to me and has told me that I've made an impact on them. It's a really special thing to me and I hold it so dear to my heart. I'm meant to be like uplifting at this stage and like move into something positive, but just f miserable. Um, it's tabletop time. Top time. I'm Dave. I'm Jen. And I'm Murray. And it has been a while since we intro a video like that. Yeah. So there's just a, a few things we want to talk to you about. Basically, life's hard. Yeah. <laughs> We've been trying our butts off for three years to make this YouTube thing work really well, and it has not been. So the band aid rip is that things are doing really poorly. And to save the channel... We're, we're going part-time! Yeah. We're all going part-time! <laughs> yeah, we're all, Basically. We're all going part-time. Yeah. Yeah. We've, we've all cut back in order to slow things down so we can try and claw our way back. Basically. Yay! <laughs> it's like the opposite of those YouTube videos where people are like, I'm going full-time on YouTube. Isn't that exciting? It's the opposite. Hmm. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to take you through the details of that. Uh, but it's going to be really awkward with Mari and Jen sort of standing and looking like this at the camera. So, um, yeah, maybe it's better just you. All right. <laughs> All right, so this sucks. We haven't wanted to make this video for a while. Table to Time is a company. It's a bit unlike a lot of YouTube channels. Uh, we have been extremely privileged to be in the position to be employed as content creators. Jen, Mari, myself, the editor, part-time artist, mostly for Table to Time Roleplay, Alicia, have all been lucky enough to be employees. That means much like you all, we get paid wages to do a job. A job is to create YouTube content. It does mean, however, that there are certain realities around that that other YouTubers uh, don't have to deal with, but also don't aren't lucky enough to deal with. So like no no complaints about getting a paycheck. That's amazing. No one's going to complain about that. Uh, but it does mean in a company, it's kind of impossible for us to be as resilient as an independent creator because when times get tough and there's no money for people to get paid, labor laws kind of make it illegal for us to like volunteer our lives. So effectively, what's happened is uh, YouTube's hard. It's been getting hard. We've been making content for three and a half years now and it's been a great fun journey but uh, it's been getting harder and harder and harder and some of that has been us trying desperately to make things work I mean there were periods of times where we were wildly overworking doing crazy overtime to try and make these videos huge scope projects that you all might be familiar with and putting out two videos a week and it's been an absolute slog so Effectively, we're in a position now where views are down. We tried to create the system. We were gonna do two videos a week. We did it for a while. We did Tuesday videos, which are talky. Saturday videos were projects. And we found uh, that they didn't do too well. We were hopeful that it would be two veins of content that would allow us to kind of survive and continue doing two videos a week. But unfortunately, the Tuesday videos were very often flops. People didn't wanna watch them. I think it was a little bit confusing for viewers to try and initiate it. But as I said, we lack the resilience to be able to do that for like six months or a year and build an identity because if things go bad, things go bad fast. Ah. So the reality is um, we kind of were at a bit of a crossroads and the crossroads is either we continue to exist or we don't, <laughs> um, to be honest. So a big, big um, elephant in the room, I guess, to talk about briefly is the amazing success of the Space Bears Kickstarter. It raised something like uh, 184,000 Australian dollars in November, December of last year, which was fantastic. And this isn't actually impacting that in any way. But the reason I want to bring that up is because I think that sounds like a lot of money. And if I was an independent content creator, you know, that would probably feed me for like three years. But given that there's employees and payroll and all of that, uh, if you imagine how much you make in a year, you you can see pretty quickly that doesn't go forever. The Space Base Kickstarter was amazing and it effectively allowed us to not make this video in December of last year. So it's basically bought us eight months to try different things and we've tried these different formats. We've tried doing different ways of making content. And um, unfortunately in the current climate, nothing's worked. It's not a good feeling when you try like really hard a lot of different ways and all of them don't work. Uh, that's, that's not the funnest thing. But what is clear is we are at a point where we can no longer continue 
continue operating the way we've been operating. Uh, basically, as we mentioned at the start, we've all volunteered to basically cut all our hours so we can only do one video a week in the hope that by removing one vein of content, it will remove confusion. Uh, we can focus on doing project oriented things, but it's gonna raise its own uh, bunch of difficulties because we have less time. It's not like we have the same amount of time to do one video. Uh, and that decision was made to avoid having to, you know, end the channel. So we are effectively basically on a form of tabletop time life support right now. Let's just be honest. Um, we're gonna be proceeding uh, and really trying to make the new vein of content work. But I think that YouTube has gotten a lot harder in the last few years. There's more competition than ever. The expectations for people's content and the quality of the outcomes are through the roof. I also think that the YouTube algorithm is a monster. Like I, I think that it, if you don't, if people don't watch two of your videos, you're gone. Uh, we have so many subscribers who'll be like, oh, we weren't interested in those two things. So now we just don't see your videos anymore. So it's it's really, it's not forgiving. There's creators struggling all over the place. Um, the global economy seems to be on the brink of collapse as recording today. So I don't think we're exactly launching into amazing times, but we're gonna give it our all. Um, and we're gonna kind of talk to you a little bit about what that's gonna look like. And uh, Murray and Jen are gonna share their thoughts and their feelings um, because <laughs> If we didn't believe that we could do this, uh, we wouldn't be trying. So these are, you know, the darkest times before the dawn. Things are pretty rough right now. But yeah, if, if we didn't think that we could try this last shot to make things work, um, we wouldn't bother. But we care a lot. Uh, I guess I never knew when I met Jazza when he came into my shop many years ago, uh, just how much I would enjoy sharing my hobby, teaching people things, bringing entertainment to other people and kind of making that, making a career out of it, making a life out of it. Um, it's been a real treat and I want it to continue. So love coffee. I don't plan on being a barista again, but <laughs> God, I suck at like, I'm meant to be like uplifting at this stage and like move into something positive, but just f miserable. Um, I want to do everything in my power to make sure uh, that the good times can keep on rolling. So I'm going to be working hard to keep bringing cool stuff that fits my interest, be it Trader Guard, Dark Mechanicum, Alpha Legion, all things naughty on the side of 40k and Horus Heresy, uh, to other bigger, weirder projects, um, board builds and the things that people used to come to the channel and get a lot of excitement and engagement in. But it's not just me at Table to Time, so uh, let's hear from some other people because I'm not doing a very good job of talking. So, yeah. Oh, okay, hopefully I'm in shot. I don't know if I am or not. So the reason that I kind of wanted to be on camera today is to sort of talk to you guys about how it's affecting me uh, personally and how being on Tabletop Time has also affected me as a presenter and someone who never thought they would do this for a job. I've learned so much in my journey of becoming a YouTuber. I'm someone that really struggled to even present in front of a camera. I never thought that I could do something like this and Tabletop Time has proven that I absolutely can and I actually really, really enjoy it. Not only that, something I've always strived to do in my life is to inspire other people and whether that's been in various careers that I've had being a part of tabletop time has been an enormous amount of joy a memory that sticks so hard with me is when we went to PAX for the very first time and we'd done our panel and I had a mother and she came up to me and told me how much uh, the videos that I was in impacted her daughter and made her want to paint and not even this situation even on a daily basis I get people especially dads dads who have little girls that want to get them into miniature painting and they say that the videos that I'm part of help them do that. And I'm getting really emotional because it's it's such a huge part and I'm so thankful to everyone that has come up to me and has told me that I've made an impact on them. It's a really special thing to me and I hold it so dear to my heart. I don't mean to get emotional, this isn't what this video is for, but uh, it's really, really important to me and I want to let you guys know that that's, that's how I feel. Being able to paint for my job is also an amazing thing and I really have so much more to show you guys and I really do hope you consider supporting us and supporting the channel because not only do we love making the stuff for you guys we love when we get to do awesome stuff together and we have such a long journey ahead of us and I really want to show that with everyone so thank you so much for uh, watching this video uh, we really do appreciate it and any support you can provide uh, obviously absolutely helps um, and let's hope that tabletop time is still around for a few years to come uh, where am I standing 
There we go. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's my turn to have a chat with you. <sighs> How do people start these things? Dave's told you the overall gist, the, the corporate side of things. You're not doing well on the money, which is unfortunately just such a, a, a huge reality for anyone these days. It doesn't detract from all the things we've done, all the experiences we've had here and the amazing things we've created. And that's what we want to do. We're doing this video here to basically say, please support us, of course, as always, but we're doing it because we want to build this. We love this job. It's so unique and amazing. We have a great time and we do the best things. So we want to make it good. We want to make it big. We want to build it. And so we're still here and this is why we're doing this. A lot of you might not actually know or perhaps have not even seen when I started here on this channel about three years ago and my first appearance was basically a trial day where I came in and helped Jazza paint like 70 uh, fantasy orcs until I was just on the channel more and more and more. I sort of comedically channeled this. There was the joke that I was like a robot that was like kept in the, the cupboard and brought out with the rest of the power tools to like paint something for everyone. That was my in and I just kept painting here and we've done incredible things. We have done this amazing Titan graveyard board where we did this fantastic scene. We got to reimagine something that we could only picture in our minds. Who gets to put three or four Titans on one gaming table? To give you some idea of how much we enjoy this channel, this work, and how much we put into it. I can't remember the last time any of us left work on time. We are terrible at staying back after hours just because we want to add a bit more into the videos. I want to spend an extra hour painting something and just being a bit more happy and proud of what we've achieved and then putting it in the video. We do that all the time. In fact, with that Titan board, we finished that here at 2 a.m. the morning of the event down in the city and then had to transport it. <laughs> Finally on that day, taking it out of the car, which fits by, I kid you not, like two millimeters, taking that past the line of people queuing up to get into the venue and seeing them turn their heads and just the exclamations of awe, wonder, and holy sh it was amazing. There was nothing else like it. Just the amount of hype for people to see Titans glued to terrain was awesome. And that's that's why we're here. that's why we're doing this. This is the best job. It really is. And we love it. And we are trying to do everything we can, as we said, to basically core it back. YouTube and art in general can be a bit of a losing battle, but we're gonna try doing everything we can because that's what we've been doing for three years and we're gonna keep doing it. Whew. That was like, I'm a little bit out of breath now. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, that's the, uh, that's the positive uplift to what we want to do. We're, we, we're scaling back so we can get to the best possible uh, results out of what we can do in the circumstances. Now, it does suck. It's not really fun for anyone that, you know, this is happening. It's, it's just life. Sometimes these things happen. We want to make it better. We want to, we don't, we don't want to leave <laughs> basically, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. I think that, uh, I think that about sums it up. Bit of a loss at what else to say other than just sort of, Hey, we're, we're gonna keep going until we can't anymore or we just actually hit the stride and keep making things. <laughs> um, so I guess, yeah, that's where we're going. Uh, that's where we've been. And I think the biggest way, I mean, I hate to do it, everyone does it, right? But mm. the biggest way you can help us in this journey is uh, if you ever consider joining our Patreon, that would be it. We have a small group, but an amazing group of supporters on Patreon. Uh, we have an exclusive mini Discord where you can chat with us. We do a mini review every month where you can submit your minis if you're in the $10 Patreon tier. Uh, and we kind of check them out, give you advice or just chat about it. And you can ask us questions there as well. Uh, and we also do, I do a weekly like behind the scenes vlog uh, for patrons. There's heaps of content up there for patrons. Uh, and I think for a channel of our size, you know, I think there's always been the feeling that like we're doing okay, uh, that everything's, you know, maybe that you don't, people don't need to support us because we are a company. And I think that comes across, right? With mm. Tabletop Time, it's a company. So company's good and strong. Um, well, I think it's not the case um, at, at this point. So yeah, it's yeah. definitely a bit more of the vibe of uh, three people uh, on timeshare and in the existing studio <laughs> creating things in the corner. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
That's true. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think the reality as well is a lot of people see those who know um, that uh, the the great and mighty YouTuber Jazza uh, owns is a producer of the channel owns the channel um, that there's sort of an assumption as well that it's going to be uh, on easy street. But I think YouTube is an incredibly difficult scenario, and um, Jazza's not having an easy time of it himself. Uh, and over the course of Tabletop Times' existence, he's never taken a cent from the channel. So the entire thing exists uh, basically because he loves it and he wants to support creators like us to create stuff but there is a sort of reality that you know at, at a certain point when everything gets hard not everything's a guarantee but uh, if you want to help us along this journey and try and help us uh, keep surviving and hopefully thrive to the point where mm. we can return put more hours in yeah. uh, and I think hopefully in that world not ever do two videos a week again so <laughs> I think it, even, if, even if we do become more successful and if we manage to pull it out of, uh, out of the hard times we're in I think the goal will be to just put more and more into the videos we make rather than trying to make more of them and make them better. Yeah, we and that will, is the goal. Yeah, <laughs> we will keep the coffee bits coming though. Yes, yeah, the coffee bits yeah, are staying. That's yeah. the one thing that they're staying from the Tuesday videos. Uh, and I guess for any of the things we sort of discussed or, or, or maybe we're starting Escalation League, um, talking about what we were going to do. I'm sorry that that hasn't panned out. Feel free to talk to us about them in, in the patron discord or in mini review. Like we'd love to keep that journey going uh, mm -hmm. there where we can because that's something we're doing in our personal time yeah for sure but yeah there's other ways to support the channel as well mm -hmm. if you want to help us on this journey yes we have merch as mentioned uh coffee bits we now have our new coffee bits merch you can get a shirt or a mug and we have some new stuff coming out oh, very soon as that? well oh it's coffee bits, yeah, coffee coffee bits. bits. i love sprued coffee yeah, yeah yeah oh my god do you get it yes like i, I love cold sprued Oh, cold sprue. I love cold sprue. Oh, that's really uh, cool. Yeah, I love, but I also love sprue coffee. Um, so, yes, if you want to support us, we'll put all of the links down in the description below for you to check out. Um, hmm. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching this video. And thanks for watching us. I mean, this years? whole time. Yeah. It's been great. We're not, this isn't a goodbye. We'll see how we go. If we can do well, you know, we'll, we'll keep going. We would <laughs> love to have you along for the ride. Yeah. There we go. Till next time. Well done, Jen. You saved it. <laughs> see you later. There we go. Hey guys, remember me? <laughs> now I haven't been in videos very often or very recently, but if you don't know me, which is funny to think that people join the channel who don't know that I started the channel. I'm Jazza. I started Tabletop Time a very long time ago out of just the passion of role playing and brought it back around five years ago. Again, because I couldn't hold myself back from the passion that I have and can't get rid of for role playing and for tabletop gaming and miniatures and having Dave, Jen, Murray and Vaughan and the team who has been behind what Tabletop Time has begun transform it into something beyond what I could ever have hoped or imagined is something I'm profoundly grateful for. When I relaunched Tabletop Time I promised and dedicated myself to making something that would contribute to the community and that I wouldn't be taking anything from for my own personal game unless Tabletop Time was successful and running and fruitful and providing for everyone in it. And I can proudly say I have never taken an ounce of profit from tabletop time we've just been working on getting it running and growing and providing the hobby to the community so while I haven't personally seen a dime from tabletop time I have enjoyed years of inspiration of being surrounded by creative people and being able to walk into this room every week and be inspired by what these people create and my role is very much behind the scenes every sponsorship you've ever seen on the channel is something that I've put together I still work actively on the administration and the production. I'm, a, I'm the producer of tabletop time effectively. The reason I'm saying all that is because while I feel to a degree I'm a little disconnected from the day-to-day -day of the comings and goings of the content on the channel, I am more connected than ever to this community and how much what we do here matters. And while this video is probably a lot about how this all matters to us and how much we want to keep doing this for you, it's also about how much we can recognize what we do also matters to you. And and as part of that, I've suggested to the team that the top tier patrons who have been backing us for over a year will get something that is actually a part of the channel as a reward and mostly as a thank you for supporting us and helping us continue to bring our passion through to you in video content. So to be specific, anyone who is at the king tier of our Patreon for over a year on the Tabletop Time Minis Club. And to say thank you to those who have supported us, any current patrons who have already paid that equivalent will be sent a mini as well. So the team and I are gonna pick some mini 
questions, we'll reach out to those of you who have backed us. We'll package it ourselves, send it with a handwritten note and a genuine thank you for making what we do possible. Tabletop time is a little bit different than what I do over on the Jazza channel in that I know I can forever continue doing what I do personally, creatively, because I'll, I'm not falling back on anything. I'm always going to do what I do creatively. But for tabletop time, it's different because I started this with a promise to my staff that I would do everything in my power to make sure that they are always treated fairly and given the opportunities that they would expect from a job. And I'm really proud to say I've been able to provide that so far. They have their life, they need to build their futures, and, and if tabletop time doesn't work out in the future, there really isn't a backup. I guess in comparison to other hobby YouTubers who are independent creators who can tighten the belt and pull up the bootstraps and get through tough times. In tabletop time, we've got a bigger team and one that I hope that we continue to provide some basic stability for and your contribution to help make that happen so we can continue to bring you inspiration is something I cannot in words put into how much that matters and how grateful we are for your support and have always been. And I hope that uh, sharing with you the, some of the journeys we've gone through and sharing with some of you who have been around for that long journey or who are looking forward to joining us in for the long haul will be rewarded by having a piece of that channel from us. Anyways, it would feel wrong if I didn't participate in this video in some way. So. I just wanted to come in to say thank you. Thank you to the team here, Dave, Jen, Murray, and Vaughn, who have sacrificed, who work their guts out, who put their heart and soul into the content to bring it to life on a platform that is currently quite unrewarding and extremely difficult to navigate, and who are willing to persist through that difficulty and put their hearts on the line to continue to make that for you. And of course, from the deepest part of my heart, a thank you to you for joining us here in our creative endeavors and tabletop time to bring our nostalgic childhoods or the newfound hobby to life in a way that makes endless worlds and stories and battles possible and wondrous. It really is magic and whatever the future holds with where we are right now and looking at where we've gone, I'm incredibly grateful and I'm incredibly hopeful for a future that will allow us to continue to create wonderful things for you and bring amazing things to life. Thanks for watching. With one extra inch. The things you can do with one extra inch. <laughs>